Oh, there you go. The first artwork will be my face because it's unique and inspiring. <laughs> yes. No, no. Be no. quiet, please. No. Please, our first artwork is by Pablo Picasso and it is called Majoli. Oh, it's inspired by me! What? Majoli means my pretty girl. Duh! So that's the opposite of you then? Yup, her name, I mean, my other name is Marcel Humbert. No, yes. no, no. It looks like he used analytical cubism to build a figure though. For but, you know, okay. but you know, I can see the figure. Huh? I thought that was inspired by you and you don't know. But I can see it. <laughs> oh, and I personally find it strange how he use gray tones and sh sharp chaotic lines. I can't see any signs of romance and love here. Quite strange. Oh, I can see it. It looks so creepy for a lover. <laughs> Yes, that's true. Well, here are the elements seen in the painting. Chaotic lines, huh? monotone grays, mm -hmm. dark shading, and mystery. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's by Duck by L. S. Duck by George Brock. Bro? Bro? Oh, it's Brock. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Brock. It was George painted Bro. in 1908 and was drawn in fixed position. You know, it reminds me of a bright, happy village due to the bright and softer colors. And the lines are soft too. Mm. You can see it. Uh, I'm guessing it's from his observation or memories. Cool, it looks like my house. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, in this painting, you can also change your viewpoint in relation to the object. Yeah. Cool, huh? Yeah, it must state the element scene. Softer, less angular. Lines, bright colors. Harmony and peacefulness. Peacefulness. Okay. <laughs> cool. Now let's go to the next painting. Which is Violin and Glass by Juan Gris, my ex lover and companion. Thank no, you. no, please go home. It's true. I'm never leaving the jungle. <laughs> okay, you forget. Well, Gris Juan, if you didn't know, is known as the third musketeer of Buddhism. Yeah. You know, it was painted on 1915. My birthday. <laughs> yeah, my birthday. <laughs> oh, what? It's like a still a painting with the form of kiddie <laughs> Okay, well, for me, I see it as an adventure of music, music as a visual form. I can like imagine jazz and classical music just by viewing mm -hmm. the painting. For me, it looks like a moving music. I think my <laughs> lover one, Grace, wanted to show me that. <laughs> I thought you broke up. <laughs> no, he called me a while ago. Well, here are the elements. Bright colors. Sign of movement. Yeah. Musical lines. Okay, let's angular line. Number one. It's interesting, it's interesting how mere geometric, geometric shapes, shapes can, translate can translate into raw emotion. emotion. Yes, that's number two.